Hi, me again. So what we are going to do now, we are going to have a go at drawing a landscape image from a photograph this time. So I will show you guys the photograph. I'll put it on the video. It's this one that I took whilst I was riding. I will omit my horse's large head from the photo, of course. Um, but it is a landscape. However, it's going, it's actually taken on my phone. So we are going to draw it portrait obviously if you're doing something different do it whichever way you have taken the photo i wouldn't switch things around too much okay so you're going to need pencil a rubber and also potentially something to draw a straight line like a ruler or the edge of a canvas or something like that um, i'm going to do a second video as well on adding um watercolors or brush inks to add some colour and maybe do some blending and some layering with that as well. So, okay, so here is my page. Um, my vanishing point in the picture is not quite in the centre. I'm going to plot that in as being about here, okay? The picture that I've took in the format on my phone isn't as tall as this bit of paper. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to block off. A section at the bottom so that I can see whereabouts everything is going to go and it's going to make sense. For example, if I thought this um, horizon line or the vanishing point, it's just over kind of halfway on my photograph. So if we go from the bottom line, being the bottom of the page, it's going to make it about here. Okay, so we would just pretend that that is not there. So what I can see, this is the end of the road. Um, it's a tiny vanishing point and then the left hand side of the road goes to nearly all the way at the bottom edge and the other side of the road goes up here oh maybe a bit higher so as you can see the things that I am plotting first are your lines coming from the vanishing point they're going to be the most important. There's also a house in the image. There's a lamppost, there's a tree. We'll do those after. Don't worry about that yet. So next to the road, there's some grass. The outside of the grass is lined with a hedge. I'm just going to draw on the edge of the grass that I can see. There's a little bit of a hill at the end. So it means that you can't quite see the end of the vanishing point on the grass area. So it kind of reaches the hill point here. And then it comes out and I can see from looking at my photograph that the edge of the grass is um, a tiny bit above halfway, but hardly at all. So I'm going to make it so it meets about there. Okay, so we've got road, grass. Here is going to be a hedge. Don't forget when you're drawing things upwards, they're still going to be vertical. So I'm going to plot in the edge of my hedge just here. And as it gets closer to you, it's going to get bigger. The edge of my hedge here looks like it is almost horizontal. The bottom of it isn't quite, it is sloping down a little bit like that. Okay, same with the other side. You've got this grass edge here. Um, we've kind of got a road going down here, but we'll have another look at that in a minute. In the background as well, you've also got some hills and things. So we will put in a faint horizon line for now. Okay, so looking to my left, we've got a house. The house looks like it is right near the side and right close to the edge of the road. So I'm going to plot in one of the lines about here. And corner of the house is about here and then we've got the roof this still horizontal this line here because we're getting a little bit further away now this one is kind of magnetizing in a way towards the vanishing point only a little at this moment i'm looking at the reference picture to get my information I'm using the rules, but I'm also looking for any any changes, okay? Because there is a hill 
Um, there is some stuff in the distance. There's a lot going on in this picture. Right, next to the house, we've got kind of the edge of another house. Like that, quite thin. And then we have got a lamppost and we have got some kind of trees in the background, but I'm just gonna sketch those in. We will put those in later. Another tree. The tree along the hedge, so going straight up. Further along, a little bit lower, another lamppost. Well, it's actually a, a pylon kind of thing, but... Um, so it's got a wire attached to it. You can actually use the wires to help show the perspective of the piece. So the wire is just going horizontal, but when you draw it, it's not going to look like that. It's going to look again like it's going towards a vanishing point. So it kind of swings up here. It's a little bit loose. And then we've got a second one just sort of there. Okay, so it's widening as it gets closer, like all of these, narrowing as it gets further away. Okay, you can see a lamppost, see the edge of the hedge, and then here we've got the horizon line. I'm going to lower this a tiny bit, just so it looks accurate. Put it like that. And then... We've got some fields in the background. I'm just looking at my reference picture for this because it will be quite tricky to make up. But we can see that there in the background. If we make this hedge maybe a little bit bolder, it might help to distinguish that. There we go. Right, near the house on the left, we've got another lamppost. This looks slightly wonky, so I'm not sure if that's because of the perspective or it's because it actually is, I can't remember. But I'm going to draw it as it is, always. Okay. Just noticed on my house as well, there's kind of a porch. So I'm going to get this in. And try and just draw this kind of triangle shape the porch roof like that. and that's the edge of it okay so we're not looking too bad we've got the general idea of the piece um i'm not going to do any more because we are going to use some watercolor while we're showing over the top so i'm going to leave that for now 